Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession. With Amel, always an honor to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. If this is the first time you are seeing me, the first time you are coming across my channel, God bless you and thank you so much for stopping by. I pray that God will use this channel to minister to you prophetically, to tell you the mind of God and help you know God for yourself better in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you so much. Please become a part of our community by subscribing to this channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever there is a fresh word, you are going to receive a notification. God might just be ministering to your specific needs. Hallelujah. God bless all my returning subscribers. I love you so much. You are always in my prayers. You are always in my thoughts. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Someone has been assigned to take care of you but they are about to get into big trouble someone has been assigned to watch over you but they are about to get into big trouble you know they keep people to watch over you or to take care because they want you to be in a particular state whenever they tell someone to take care when they tell you to take care of someone they mean they, they need that person to be in a particular state under your care because they don't want um, a contrary result to what they are seeing right now. And so when they say watch over this person, it means keep them safe, keep them calm, keep them comfortable, take care of this person. It means they are telling, they, the people have been charged, they have a responsibility over you. Now it becomes complicated when you, they assign them to take care of you in a negative point to take care of you in something that is not really good and it so happened that it is a child of god you know i was just god was just talking to me about the life of the apostle peter he was arrested and kept in prison and the bible says that two guards were kept there to watch over him to take care of him let's read from this what happened Acts of the Apostles, chapter 12, verse 6. It says that then, the night before Herod was to bring him forward, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and sentries were in front of the door, guarding the prison. Those prison, those um, wardens were there to take care of him, to make sure, to watch over him, to make sure he is there. He was bound in chains, thrown in prison, and they, were, they still kept guards there to make sure he doesn't escape. Verse 7 says, Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared beside him, and a light shone in the cell. The angel struck Peter's side and awakened him, saying, Get up quickly. And the chains fell off his hands. The angel said to him, Prepare yourself and strap on your sandals to get ready for whatever may happen. And he did so. Then the angel of the Lord told him, Put on your robe and follow me. Peter went out following the angel. He did not realize that he was being done by an angel, but by an angel that was real but thought it was he was seeing a vision now let's get to, to what happens when the guard realize the bible says that when they realize when the when the when the guards woke up and realized that peter was not there that was a big problem for them that was a big problem for them that was a big problem verse verse um, 19 says when herod heard had searched for him and could not find him. He interrogated the guards and commanded that they were led away to execution. Then he went down from Judea to Caesarea and spent some time. The guards were killed because they were kept to guard Peter. They were kept over Peter and miraculously an angel of the Lord came and delivered them. And God is saying, it doesn't matter who has been assigned to guard you. It doesn't matter who they have assigned to keep you in a permanent condition. Miraculously, you are leaving their captivity in the mighty name of Jesus. Peter was bound in chains. He was kept in a cell and he had someone watching over him to make sure nothing happens. But God still used an angel to set him free. It doesn't matter who is that person that has bound you in the realms of the 
the spirit. It doesn't matter the extreme measures they took to make sure that you, you stay in captivity. God, by his mighty hand, is taking you out of that place in the name of Jesus. As you listen to me right now, God is setting you free. Those chains are broken. An angel of the Lord is taking you out of captivity in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Until I come your way again, I remain your prophetic intercessor. Have an amazing day. Shalom, shalom.